Hey, hello everyone. So today we are going to talk about a very interesting topic. As usual, we are talking about the organic chemistry. So this is an important topic in the coordination compound that's called Ma2B2C2 enantiomer. So this is a type of second or third type of the enantiomer. Okay. So you can see a very beautiful 3D diagram over here. Okay. So structure is rotating around it. You can see it, right? Yes. So we are going to study in detail about the structures. Okay, so before we go ahead, what points we're going to cover in this whole session? Let's talk about it. So first point, what is the enantiomers? Then the incoordination compound, this Ma2B2C2 type, what kind of type is this? What geometry they do possess? How the mirror image is going to they form? How they're going to show the optical activity or not? Okay, how are they going to show the geometrical isomers or not? So this point can be covered, but the three basic important points is that the definition of enantiomers and why these structures are considered as this type and why they call as enantiomers. So these three basic important points we have to cover here. So let's start without wasting time, right? So you can see a 3D structure over. This is the right side. You can see that it's going towards right side. You can see the left side. This is the structure, right? We can see the front as well. Hmm? Yes. And the bottom view also is there. So, and the topmost level also is that. So, this is they are bonded. Okay, so this is they are bonded. So, let's talk about it. Okay, so I'm going to show you like this. Okay, so you can understand what is the bonding. So, before we go ahead, uh, we're going to talk about the enantiomers, right? As I mentioned, enantiomer. So, what are the enantiomers? That is very important point. So in a stereochemistry, there are diastomers and the enantiomers. So let's talk about what are the enantiomers. Enantiomers have a different configuration. What is the configuration? In space, in space, or we can say in a layman language, we can say that it has a different See, this is an enantiom we talk about. Let's consider this box. Okay, we are talking about they have a different spatial arrangement this is a spatial arrangement you will see that okay and that is the configuration the one first and second point are almost same because i'm going to show you second they are enantiomers are mirror image of each other mirror image of each other okay that is the criteria and last criteria they are non super impossible what's that Let's study that Okay, so point wise, let's study that. First point, a different spatial configuration. When you talk about the configuration, the arrangement of the atoms. Suppose talking about this is a one atom, this is a second atom. So it is going upward. If I'm showing this kind of thing, it's coming towards the plane. It is below the plane. Okay. Okay. This is inside the plane. So this is the arrangement we talk about when you talk about explaining in a physical way, right? But when you talk about a 3D diagram, you can see here. This blue color is in the plane. This red is upward. This yellow is downward, right? So see, this is 3D. 3D means what? Three planes are there. So we are talking about the 3D diagram over here. Okay. So uh, when you talk about the enantiomers, they have a different spatial arrangement. So according to the different, different plane. So let me talk about this is they are into the same plane. This upper and the below, they are into the different plane, right? So they have a planar configuration spatial arrangement okay spatial not not spatial it's spatial spatial right so they have a arrangement configuration into the space that is a point we have to cover then they are not mirror image so let's see what is mirror image and non superimposable we cover in the next uh, point okay so let's start with that okay now this is a 3d diagram right and one more point that we have to mention is this m a b two c two i mean m a two b two c two this is what so m for the this molecule let me use a yellow color so you can see that okay this is the center molecule okay so they are joined so a a how many a are there two yes exactly how many molecules of a two molecules are there. very correct okay then b and b how many b molecules are there two very correct and the last more but not least that is 
yellow color c and c how many c are there two c how much a are there two b two c two so this kind of arrangement it's called m a two b two c two type and then show us and why and show let's study that so this is a coordination compound type so type this m for metal okay in a coordination compound we that know that metal so this bond a is attached c is attached b is attached c is attached this is called the ligands okay so this a e2 is called the ligands okay ligands okay so that we talking about okay now the next point that we have to cover we know that this type ma2 b2 and c2 okay now why it's called enantiomer that's a point but before that we should know the geometry see we know that it is upward direction this is the below direction arrow when you talk about this is a symmetry when you draw a plane so they are into the one plane and because of this upward and below if you join this you get a geometry known as octahedral geometry isn't it octahedral geometry yes very good so this geometry is called what octahedral geometry yes so this type of enantiomer follow with geometry with geometry it's going to follow octahedral okay that is very very important point that we have to cover okay very good so excellent we have done that okay now the next point so you can see the image right now enantiomer spatial arrangement we have talked about the second point we talk about the mirror image and non superimposal is what so let's talk about it. for that purpose i need to do one thing okay let's see the magic can you see the every atom connected at the center atom okay you can see in this pics right now what we are doing see in front of i'm um, now anybody can tell me what i'm trying to do is okay now suppose not suppose i have to show you here as well i am drawing a line okay this is act like a mirror this is act like what mirror so if this is a mirror okay in this is your a molecule okay this molecule is kept at the a side here is a mirror at the center and here you are going, going to get a mirror image so a so we are going to get a b that is a mirror image so what is a mirror image when you place a mirror in front of molecule whatever gate okay that's called mirror image so see this is a center atom m this is also center atom m so which is going to place exactly wherever it is now let's talk about this okay so see look at this red line this is a red bond is there okay so exactly in front of that imagine there is a mirror imagine here is a mirror okay this is a a and we are getting b which is a mirror image so see we are getting here bond exactly we are getting this bond isn't it okay so again let me draw the line that is mirror very properly now this is a mirror the blue color line is mirror now let's go for the we get a red molecule as well exactly in front of that correct then yellow color bond yes exactly below then atom is also attached then we get this yellow which is now tell me one thing this red color bond is in the plane that uh, yellow color bond which is uh, downward this is going down right and that yellow which i'm going to show you right now it's below the plane exactly correct yes then this blue color line which is now coming out right it is outward the plane right yes so this is the benefit of three diagram you understand how the spatial arrangement is there okay how the atoms and molecule arrange in a space accommodation okay in the space that's great now we are talking about the next molecule exactly correct okay we have to shift yeah this is a mirror image we are getting right see we are getting exactly mirror image over here isn't it yes okay see i'm getting here the red molecule now tell me one thing don't you think so i just impose see what i done i just impose i took a mirror at the center and i'm dragging the molecules over from here to here that we just have seen okay just so see it again what i done okay that's the center molecule m okay the red color molecule I have just drawn then bond with the yellow color molecule i have drawn then this i have drawn then this and then red one right so after that i get a mirror image exactly correct so this is called a mirror image so enantiomers are mirror image of each other 
that's we got it right now what's the next point superimposable and non superimposable okay so let me write that then i will tell you what i'm talking about so that's the criteria for the enantiomer how can i define this atoms are enantiomers they have a different configuration the space or spatial arrangement okay that is the most first point we have to talk about right okay now we are going to talk about a uh, next point how they are superimposable i'm like non superimposable superimposable what when you talk about is super m what is that so if this is my hand okay i'm getting get a mirror image exactly in front of it so this is a mirror image right this is a mirror image when i'm placing this mirror image exactly on this i'm not getting a proper structure see look at this properly this is my palm mirror image exactly in front of that exactly correct okay mirror image exactly in front of that now i'm taking this molecule i'm like this palm i'm placing on this see different arrangement if come this arrangement like this exactly this is super impossible but right now the mirror image i'm getting and i'm putting on this point i'm not getting a exactly correct symmetry over here yes that's for non super impossible so when you take this a molecule which is already there this b is a mirror image of that so when i am placing this b on to the a i am not getting a proper structure see if i am going to put that this one is going to face this one this one is going to face this one yes that's a different arrangement yes on the red and red that can be same yellow and yellow that can be same see here also upper and below parts are same but what about this part that we are talking about right and that's why it's called non super impossible mirror images and that's why when they are non super impossible mirror that's called enantiomer exactly correct that's called enantiomer so we have talk about this in this point so i have, i hope you understood this criteria when a molecule you can declare the enantiomers okay they will be in pair exactly correct they will be in pair so we talk about this right so these are the enantiomers that we have discussed now in coordination compound again i am going to repeat that ma2 b2 and c this kind of type of enantiomer is right so we talk about the geometry what kind of geometry we have understood octahedral why octahedral again i am going to repeat that because i am going to show you the plane different plane see i if, if i am moving like this atoms okay so now let's see the spatial arrangement now this four molecule is over here they are into the same plane and this above they are into different plane don't you think so obviously you can see it with the, this beautiful 3d diagram right so that's why this geometry when you see i'm drawing the one plane and the line of symmetry are drawn and then i'm connecting the points so i'm getting a octahedral geometry octa hedral geometry okay so m a2 b2 c2 this type of enantiomers follow the geometry octahedral geometry so this points also we have cover over here okay so this is the thing now let's talk about the uh, geometrical isomers but in this spatial arrangement geometrical isomers we are going to talk about later on okay so right now what i'm trying to discuss only one single point of geometrical isomers i want to discuss they are, have follow the certain rules what the spatial arrangement and the distance right that is the distance should be there so see if i'm going to show you this a very single point i'm to cover i'm not going to cover a whole gi over here i'm just going to cover only single point let's understand that okay so in a geometrical isomers we should have one criteria that is the distance should be not same distance should be different right but if you see here if you change the thing distance is coming same so for the geometrical isomers we need to understand the second criteria in detail right so for that purpose we need a another structure molecule okay so right now these structures are very important in case of understanding the type of enantiomers that is ma2 b2 c2 right this type of enantiomers we have done then geometry point of view we have covered the point right so that is the most important point that we have covered okay so i hope you understood this point very well right that is one thing so let's recap the things what we are done 
when you talk about the enantiomer what are the enantiomers different spatial arrangement should be there they should be mirror image that we have just seen okay but they are non superimposable on each other exactly when you put this mirror image on this we can say uh, symmetry is not there maintain is not there okay so that's why they are non super so enantiomers are those who have a special arrangement and non superimposable each other they are called the enantiomers and this is a very best example to understand with a 3d diagram okay so i hope you understood that thank you for paying attention